Hey, what's going on my fellow idiots? Welcome back for another episode of Idiot Proof Cooking. So I'm still sick, so today I'm going to be making chicken noodle soup. I figured why the hell not, feel like crap as it is, so might as well make some chicken noodle soup for the channel and also to make me feel better. So let's get into making it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to tackle is the chicken stock. And what better way to make a chicken stock than by using a pre-cooked chicken from Costco? Hey, this is Idiot Proof Cooking after all. You can roast your own by all means, but obviously this is much quicker if you buy a Costco or a deli chicken. And really all we're going to do is remove the meat and the skin from the bones and keep the meat in one container and separate the bones and skin for the stock. Now, as you can see, my chicken is a little bit cold. I did buy it earlier in the day and it has sat in my fridge for five or six hours honestly you can tear it apart when it's piping hot but then you know you run the risk of burning your hands so like I said just rip all of the meat off the bones and like I said rip the skin off you don't want that with your chicken you're gonna throw that in with the bones to make the stock and then all we're going to do is separate the white meat the breast meat and throw it into my Tupperware container here too you get quite a bit of chicken off of one of these little Costco chickens there we go so I've got it all in a container here here. I'm just going to throw my lid on it and stick this in the fridge until I need it to make the soup. But for right now, we're just going to be making the stock. And what we're going to need to make some stock is a rather large stock pot, much like this one here. So all we're going to do is throw all of the bones and the chicken skin into the stock pot, and then it's time to start adding in some aromatics. Starting off with some carrots, I'm going to use three large carrots, and I'm just going to roughly chop them into two or three pieces each. They don't have to be finely chopped. We're just throwing them in for the stock. Next in is some celery, two stalks, and similar to the carrots, you can just roughly chop them and throw them in. Once you're done with the carrots and celery, it's time to add in some garlic. So I'm going to use a whole bulb of garlic and just cut it in half. That way you can get like eight to 10 bulbs of garlic in and throw it into the stock pot with the paper still on it. That's not an issue. Next in is a large white onion and similar to the garlic, just cut it in half and throw it in the pot, skin and all. Next in is some spices, so I'm going to use a handful of thyme, and then I'm going to use a good handful of parsley as well. Into the stock pot it goes. Last but not least, we're going to use some black peppercorns, about a quarter cup's worth, pour them into the stock pot, and let me just give you a quick shot of everything in there. Look at that, that is going to make one hell of a chicken stock. All right, we need water to make a chicken stock, so we're going to add in 16 cups of water. So once you've added your water in, throw the lid on your stock pot throw this on a burner on a medium low heat and let this simmer for the next four to five hours and you're going to have one hell of a chicken stock after five hours it's time to strain it so get out your metal strainer and a large bowl and pour the stock over the strainer so that it catches all of the big pieces of gunk and everything in there look at that chicken stock look at how rich and golden it is oh man it smells heavenly it's nice and golden brown. Oh man, that turned out perfectly. All right, let me give you a close-up shot of the color. Look at that color. That is beautiful chicken stock. This is gonna make a hell of a chicken noodle soup. Now, speaking of the chicken noodle soup, let's get into making that. So we're gonna just set this chicken stock aside for a little bit and head into the kitchen. So in a large Dutch oven, heating up on a medium heat on your burner, throw in a tablespoon of olive oil and then throw in a large white onion that's been finely chopped. Next in is two large carrots that have been chopped up into medium-sized pieces and then two stalks of celery chopped up pretty finely. And we're just going to cook this on a medium heat in our Dutch oven for the next five to six minutes to let it soften up and get aromatic. After everything's cooked for a couple of minutes, it's time to add in a couple of cloves of garlic. So I'm mincing three cloves of garlic. And like I always say, don't forget to scrape down your mincer because there's a lot of garlic left over there and you don't want to miss out on that. And then just mix your garlic in with the carrots, celery, and onions for about a minute 
minute to let it cook. Once the garlic has cooked, it's time to add in our chicken that we separated from the bones and skin earlier. As you can see here, I've cut it and shredded it up into small little pieces, and we're just gonna stir that around with all of the vegetables. Then it's time to add in our 16 cups of chicken stock. Look at that beautiful, beautiful stock. So pour it into your large touch oven, and then it's time to add in some spices, starting off with some kosher salt. Now you might have noticed I didn't add in any salt when I was making the stock because now we're going to add it in in the soup. Next in is some freshly ground black pepper and then I'm going to use a tablespoon of dried thyme and then a quarter cup of fresh parsley that I've diced up pretty finely. There we go. Then all we're going to do is stir the spices in with the soup and throw our lid on this and let this cook for the next half an hour or so just to let the stock warm up and also to let the chicken warm up. After about 30 minutes you can see here it's bubbling quite nicely so now it's time to add in our noodles now hey you can use whatever noodles you want I've decided to use spiral noodles but you can use macaroni hell you could even use spaghetti if you wanted far be it for me to judge what kind of noodle you want in your chicken noodle soup but like I said I'm going to be using the spiral noodles so I'm going to use about a cup and a half's worth pour it in and then just cook it for the length that it specifies on the box of pasta for me it was about 10 minutes after which time, as you can see, the noodles have thickened up quite nicely and we've got ourselves a hearty and delicious looking chicken noodle soup. Look at that, look at everything in there. This is fully stocked. You know what, it's time to taste test this. So let's go out into the other room. I've got a bowl here. I've got my Dutch oven full of soup that's piping hot. So let's take the lid off here and get into serving some. Like I said, I'm still sick. So this is definitely, definitely needed. And you know what, everybody in the house is sick. Meg's sick, Rose is sick, JP sick. Rose was actually patient zero. She brought home something from school. So anyways, this chicken noodle soup is definitely going to do the trick. Look at that. It is beautiful, beautiful. All right, going in for the taste test. Get a spoonful with some vegetables and some chicken and some broth. And wow, that is good. That is so good. It just warms your stomach immediately. It's nice and hearty. It's flavorful. The broth is amazing. The chicken's amazing. Everything tastes so good. And this was super easy to make. I mean, there's a bit of a time commitment to make the stock. And hey, at the end of the day, you can use box stock if you want. But hey, it's also really easy to make your own as you should have seen from this video. So let's call it there. This was super easy to make and I'm really enjoying it. So I hope you like what you saw here today. If you did, drop me a comment. Like the video or even subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching Idiot Proof Cooking and we'll see you again soon.